Hey guys, welcome back to Atomic Hillbilly. Today, I went to an auction solo, so unfortunately I wasn't able to do any filming while I was there and keep up with the auction, but uh, basically what I have on the table before me is the most of my haul. I actually bought a mid-century modern bedroom suit, which has a tall dresser, a regular dresser, a mirror, headboard, footboard, and I guess that's it. Anyway, 10 bucks. Awesome deal, and it's in great, great shape. Not perfect, but great shape. So I will show that at the end of the video. It's in my trailer. I'm not going to drag that out because we actually are kind of fighting some bad weather here today. So anyways, but uh, I spent a total of $99 today. And let me tell you, I'm pretty excited because I got some really, really, really cool stuff. So uh, kind of start here. And these aren't in the greatest of shape, but I got several old kiss posters and this particular one I never seen this before so I thought man that's so cool now it looks like it's been I don't know taped up and whatever over the years but still it is absolutely cool I'm hoping you guys can see that so absolutely actually it looks like it's a few different things taped together I see so it was fold out from Rocksteady Magazine is what it looks like. Regardless, cool. I thought this one was great. And I got all these posters, I think, for 10 bucks. It was a little confusing today because the auctioneer was just loading up a table with stuff and then whoever had the high bid could take, you know, any, any item off of the table, however many they wanted, times, you know, the money. So if it was $10, I could have selected three things. But these posters were all just one lot. And this one was cool, the Fonz. So that was part of that poster deal. And again, some more uh, Kiss posters. Got some mini posters. Paul Stanley, I'm assuming they're all in there. But again, I've not looked through them all. This poster, I actually think I might have had this one in my bedroom when I was a kid. Uh, I really don't recall, but it sure seems like I had this poster when I was a kid. So cool stuff right there, again for 10 bucks. Uh, bought this whole little box here, and again, going off of memory, I think I might have gave five or six dollars for this box. But I thought the little Mustang was cool, and it's a, it, it's a made in Japan friction, and you know it's it's not in the worst shape, but it's not perfect either. But it's a cool piece. Well worth what I gave for the whole box. And then we got all these little uh, toys in here, the little uh, play sets. And this looks like actually kind of a combination of a couple different play sets in there. Got the little toy pistol, Pirates of the Caribbean pistol. Uh, got some enamelware. Actually very nice enamelware with the lid, that pot. And bought buttons. Buttons are kind of collectible. So they had that whole bag of buttons, this whole bag of buttons, and then they had this huge jar of buttons. So I think I got all of the buttons for, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks. Again, it's kind of hard to keep up with the way they did things today. And actually, got the wrong lid on there. There's the red to match it. And I got this nice pan there. Look, I even got some, some lunchies. Woo! Got that. Got a small little uh, pot, extra lid. Uh, this, I'm assuming it's in there. Haven't even looked. It was collateral damage. I bought something and they said, hey, you're taking all that stuff. And yeah, actually that looks to be brand new in the box. So that'll wind up going to our online auction probably. Oh, let me get behind the table. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. This is, uh, looks like a travel bag. Again, it was collateral damage thrown in. This I thought was super cool. They just kind of threw this in. It's an old aluminum Tennessean newspaper box. So I thought that was super cool. I like collecting uh, local stuff. So I thought that was super cool. Uh, big pruning shears, they need a little bit of work, but again, they were thrown in with one of my package deals that I bought. I don't recall what. And got two egg plates, that one, which is beautiful. Never seen one like that. That's a beautiful egg plate. Got the milk, milk glass 
Uh, this is like a relish tray, divided tray with a gold trim. These are kind of kind of popular. A couple old letter openers, kind of cool. Actually, actually a mail file that one is. A little uh, some of these little handiwork on their little shovel here. And this I thought was cool. I got this. Uh, I want to say maybe five bucks may have a little chigger in it there but this you know mid-century modern it's got all four of the trays to go around it so i thought that was kind of cool a uh, box lot of toys and i haven't even really dug through these they're old 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 stuff in here so i kind of remember this guy from when i was a kid his eyeballs rolled as you pulled them uh, again old stuff old stuff old stuff a lot of this uh, there's some tinker toys still in the in the bin kind of cool uh, some, some scary little dolls she's gonna go in the garbage she's had some surgery done to her legs it appears to be uh, that one's kind of creepy I uh, got some squeak toys little soldier there uh, another little evil baby plastic bat junk got the old farmer Fisher price pull along wobbly tractor and again just a lot of cool little trinkets in here uh, odds and ends odds and ends odds and ends this got the whole basket uh, I think again for about five bucks and the cool thing that I was going for in here they didn't pull any of this out well, that's a cool little mid-century serving tray maybe the contents are in here I don't know what went on that but it's cool uh, try to get to what I was digging for here so this is actually what I bought this box for this old Briggs tobacco tin I thought that was really cool got some great graphics on it and it's in great shape looks like somebody tried to yard sale that thing for a quarter I would have bought it all day long because I think I gave five bucks for that thing uh, got this again it was collateral damage a tote full of plastic toys probably mostly junk but who knows and here was one of my great finds got the jarts and I think honestly I think I gave two bucks for these but I'm not sure the hoops are in there I haven't opened it up yet all four of the darts are in there the jarts if you will which, you know, technically these things are illegal. You can't even sell them on any online source because they say they're This illegal. box here, I honestly, I thought I would get this thing for like five bucks, you know? I mean, I opened it at five and I thought, nobody's gonna bid against me on this thing. Uh, unfortunately, somebody did still. Cool, got the old Jack and Jill, and I remember these from when I was a kid. You could wind these up and play them and the thing spins, still works. Cool piece. Probably not very valuable, but cool. Squeak toys, clown, creepy clown, creepy cat. Got another creepy clown, just a kind of a wobble. Like before Weebles, you had these things. And got some weird miscellaneous, uh, looks like a, kind of like a, um, like a circus set. You maybe would have bought at the circus. Got the lions, elephants, Joe Biden, I don't know. Right. But here's what I bought it for, guys. Right, so this one, the body's actually in there twisted, but old slot cars. I love old slot cars, and they're very collectible. So uh, this one, again, I think it's going to be all right. This looks like a Mercury of some nature. I'm missing the grill, unfortunately. But I got another slot car body. I got, uh, let's see here. I got three chassis for slot cars. Got another body and another body and my personal favorite the red white and blue super bird very cool love it so i gave 30 bucks for this box at the end but i was okay with it there was so much cool uh slot cars in here and just little trinkets i was okay giving 30 bucks for it it looks like a pencil sharpener. Yeah, actually, we have a whole bunch of these things that we picked up one time. A whole box. It's an old pencil sharpener. So, again, very cool, very cool stuff.
But let me uh, let me break away. Let me try to show you what I got in the trailer for the mid-century pieces. They're kind of buried, but once I get it unburied, cleaned up, set up, I'll take uh, take some more film of it and include it uh, so you guys can check out that. See what I got. But again, 99 bucks. And if I sell the slot cars, I suspect they're gonna probably pay for everything, so everything will be uh, free above and beyond that. And just lots of cool trinkets for my online auctions and for uh, my antique store and a few things in here i'm probably going to keep so thanks for watching but stick with us all right so pardon the mess of my trailer but you can see i think this is a full what they would consider a full so this is actually the headboard and it's got the bookshelf area in it right above the headboard it's actually got a cutout from the factory where you could put wires through there for you know your radio or a lamp or whatever you know you wanted to do again here's the this is the footboard which is in great shape i think it's got a little chip missing up top here uh this is the mirror buried underneath there which again it's covered up but uh Again, everything's in great shape. So as soon as I get this unboxed, and again, it's not gonna be the day because of the weather once unboxed, as soon as I get it out of my trailer and unwrapped and set up and cleaned up, I will film some more of this. But great buck, 10 bucks, man, what a great deal. I honestly thought somebody would bid against me on that because there's uh, one particular lady that comes to the local auctions and she is mid-century modern and she buys Matter of fact, she outbid me on a lamp that I thought I would get for, you know, next to nothing. And she bid it up on me a little bit. And, um, you know, again, I didn't I didn't think there was a lot of real estate on that one to make any money off of. So she wound up getting it for about oh, 12 or 15 bucks, whatever. 